Marriage is a bond to be entered into, only after considerable thought and reflection, as it should be, considering that a couple who are wed are joined by their firm resolve that come what may, they shall remain together through time. This wedding is more than a celebration of love which lives on our bride and groom's hearts today. It celebrates the friendship, personal growth, and mutual affection that Brittany and Eric already share. I'm caught in your eyes Don't you know you stop the room I don't know anybody else like this guy. He got the willpower, the dedication, the discipline, the endurance, and of course, he got the great hair. Does it happen twice? You must be my once in a lifetime, in a lifetime. You must be my once in a lifetime. Since the day that I met Brittany, we've moved close to one another and very far away, but it's never affected our relationship. We spent pretty much every day of college together and have gone through a series of horrible boyfriends together, present company excluded, of course. Eric, I'm so excited to marry you in a few short hours. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I feel so lucky every day. I can't wait to be your wife. Looking forward to an amazing life together. See you soon. Love, Brittany. Your eyes Today is a celebration of love and of life. A celebration not to create a bond or a union, but rather to rejoice in the one that already exists. Today marks the continuation of a journey, the next step in ensuring all that Brittany and Eric share now shall deepen and grow stronger through the seasons of life. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your root was so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Those that are truly in love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from the branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. Ask, can we make this moment last, moment last? Promise that yours will be a home in which mutual respect, kindness, and love shall reign supreme. Where you support one another, encourage one another in the spirit of love and hope that joins you here today. Do you promise to be a faithful and loving husband? I do. Hi, Brittany. Take you, Eric, to be my husband, to have, and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I love you. Here we stay. He's not perfect. You aren't either. And the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice, and if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most you can. Through light or rain, it's your constant love that gives me strength. Hi, Eric. Take you, Brittany, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I love you. This is the start of something. Brittany and Eric, as you start your new life together, my wish for you is that you love each other, you care for each other, you respect each other, and be there for each other in good times and bad. But most of all, 
that you enjoy spending time with each other and be each other's best friend. I wish this for you because I was lucky enough to marry my best friend some 31 years ago. Cheers. Mr. and Mrs. Eric Donahue. Eric, you may kiss your eyes! 